So we are going to study about logarithmic differentiation and uh, before uh, going into the depth of the topic, if you have not subscribed the channel yet, you kindly subscribe the channel so that you can get the updated videos. You already are familiar with the properties of the logarithms like uh, the product uh, property of the logarithm, logarithmic functions that if two, uh, if two functions are multiplying with each other and there is a log with any base is written in front of them, then you can write it as and you can convert it as by writing the log of m with the same base as it is written in the question plus the log of m. Similarly, if the two functions are dividing and they are written with the sum log, then you can use the quotient property of logarithm according to which log base b of m minus log base b of n. Similarly, if some log is written with a function having a power, then what you will do, you will bring the power before the logarithm, then write the log as it is and then m. So using these properties of logarithm, we will solve few of the questions to make our differentiation process easier. In front of you, there is a very complicated question, but uh, the most important and the beautiful thing is that there is a natural log is written in front of that question, which means that you can make this complicated question easier by using the logarithmic property. So here you can apply the quotient rule of property. So remember that in quotient, whatever written is down, you have to apply the minus sign. So if you can see that if I have log of m over n is written, for example, so I can write it as log of m minus log of n. Now you will see that you can say that here there are two functions in the denominator. So easier thing is that whatever written in the denominator, for example, even if W is written. So since it is also dividing with the M, so you can use it minus log of M. Now some of the students sometimes they say, uh, sometimes they say that uh, uh, here the W is multiplying with the N. Yes, W is multiplying, so I skipped one of the very important step that is log of M minus and then you can write it as log of N plus log of W. Now, if you will open automatically, it will be converted into negative sign. So, we avoided actually this step. So, here what you are going to do, take the derivative of and now write the property. So, log of the first thing and meanwhile when you are writing the log with some uh, function just open it here cubic root of x plus 7 so you can write it as x plus 7 whole to the power of 1 by 3. So I can write it in the simpler form x plus 7 1 over 3 then x to the power 4 is dividing so I will write minus log of x to the power 4. Then again x squared plus 3 whole to the power of x is also dividing so I can write it as plus and then log of x squared plus 3 whole to the power of x. Okay now after doing this what I will do I will use my uh, power property of logarithm according to which if m has a power of p so we can write the p before means the power before the logarithm to expand this okay so d by dx of we can bring the power before the logarithm so we can write it as 1 over 3 ln of x plus 7 then minus Bring the 4 before the log and make sure that we are not taking the derivative actually. We are just expanding our uh, log function. So here you can write x log of x squared plus 3. Now after this take the derivative of each and every function individually and make sure that you are applying the sum or the uh, sum or difference uh, rule of differentiation in which if 
the functions are written and uh, the two functions are written and separated by a positive or a negative sign then you take the derivatives individually so we remember that the log of u the derivative of log of u is u prime over u means the derivative of the function is on the top and u is in the denominator so 1 by 3 is the constant so we will write 1 by 3 as it is and log of x plus 7 so the derivative of x plus 7 is on the top that is 1 and x plus 7 we will write in the denominator then we have next function that is minus 4 and remember that the derivative of x is equals to 1 over x so here we will write 1 over x minus 4 okay so now here you can see very clearly that here the two functions are multiplying with each other one is x and one is ln of x squared plus 3 so for that reason you apply your product rule of differentiation in which you write f g prime plus g f prime so just to show you here our f is the first function that is our x the derivative of x is 1 and our second function g is ln of x square plus 3 and the derivative using the logarithmic rule of differentiation is 2x over x square plus 3. Why? Because the, uh, the u is x square plus 3 which is written in the denominator and u prime is the derivative and the derivative of x square plus 3 is 2x. Now using the product rule you just expand it okay so here first of all we have f g prime so what is your f your f is x and g prime it's written as 2x over x square plus 3 plus g f prime so our g is ln of x square plus 3 and f prime is 1 okay now simplify it and write it properly 1 times 1 gives me 1 3 of x plus 7 only then minus 4 times 1 is 4 over x minus 2x times x gives me 2x square over x square plus 3 meanwhile open it with minus plus gives me minus and ln of x square plus 3 no need to simplify more if they are not asking you to simplify more. So this is your final answer. Let's see how can we solve the question by using the logarithmic differentiation. So in order to apply or in order to solve the in order to take the derivative using the logarithmic differentiation, the first step is that the take the log on both sides of the equation. So log on the left hand side and write the log on the right hand side. Now on the right hand side you can see it is written in the form of log of m to the power of p. So you can apply the power property bring the p before the log and then write log of m. So now left side write as it is and here the power bring it before the log. So it is 2x log of sine x. Now, here you can see on the right hand side, this is, they are the two functions. That means f and g. So, you can use your product property that is fg prime plus g f prime. Now, on the right hand side, you use the chain rule to take the derivative. It means the u prime over u because we know that the derivative of ln of u is u prime up and u down. So with respect to x, the derivative of y is y prime and the derivative and the y is as it is. Now here you can see here f is your 2x. So f prime will be 2. g is ln of sine x in which you can see that sine x is your u. So g prime is cosine x over sine x. Now write it in the proper way. So f that is 2x. 
g prime that is cos x over sin x plus g that is ln of sin x and f prime is 2. Now after this one bring the y over here. So you will get y prime equals to y and over here 2x now cos x over sin x you know that this is the formula of cotangent of x plus ln of sin x times 2 can be written as 2 ln of sin x. Now replace the y by the question because in play if you see that the y was equals to that is your original question without ln sin x to the power of 2x and the rest as it is. So I hope that you understood the concept that any function having a function as a power we normally use the logarithmic differentiation. So in order to solve this question using the logarithmic differentiation, the first step is that we have to take the log on both sides of the equation. So when we take the log on the left hand side, we will write log of y equals to, now here we can apply the product property according to which ln of mn can be written as ln of m plus ln of n. So this is our m and this is our n. So we can write it as ln of x plus ln of square root of 1 plus x square. So square root of 1 plus x square. Since there is a square root, so we can write it as 1 plus x square whole to the power of half. Because this uh, by opening it, our derivative will become, e it will be easier for us to take the derivative and uh, write the half before the ln using the property of, using the power property of logarithm. So we know that uh, ln of m to the power of p is written, then we can write it as p before ln and then ln of m. So now we can write the half before the ln. So we can write half ln of 1 plus x square. The rest as it is. The rest we have to write as it is. Now take the derivative. The derivative of ln y as it will be y prime over y. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x plus half. Derivative of 1 plus x square whole square. So this is your u. We know that ln of u it is equals to u prime over u. So your u prime the derivative of x square is 2x over u it is 1 plus x square as it is. Now we can clearly see that this 2 and this 2 are can be cancelled out easily. Now what is left? y prime. Now bring the y here meanwhile and write it in the proper way that is 1 over x plus x over 1 plus x square. Now we have to solve this equation. Why we have to solve this equation? To write it in a proper way. So in order to solve this equation, we will make the denominators alike, which will make, which means that here I will multiply by 1 plus x square in the denominator and also in the numerator. And on this side, I have to multiply by the x. Now, y prime equals to this y is actually the original question without the ln. So, I will write it as x and here is square root of 1 plus x square. Now on this side I will do my algebraic calculation that means I will write my denominator only one time and the numerator I will write it in the simplified form. So one time one give me one plus one time x square gives me x square plus x times x gives me x square. Now you can see here x and 1 plus x square with the square root, I can write it as a power of half. 
Now on the top I will get 1 plus x square plus x square gives me 2x square and in the denominator x bracket uh, 1 plus x square. Now this x can be cancelled with this x which is on the top. Now look here, this is 1 plus x square with the power half and in the denominator I have 1 plus x square with the power of 1. So by using the exponent property I can subtract. I know that if I have a to the power half and in the denominator I have a to the power 1. So I can write it as a as a common um, common. Um, common base of having the x uh, having different exponents and I just subtract the half and the one so it means one minus half gives me half and on the top one is left so the, here I have used my exponent property so using that property I can write it as here on the top one plus two x square as it is and on this side one plus x square to the power of half divided by 1 plus x square to the power of 1 can be written as 1 plus x square whole to the power of half and that is my actual and final answer of this question. Let's see how can we solve this question. Pause the video and try to solve it and come back after some time. So taking the taking the log taking the log uh, using the logarithmic differentiation, we will write this function as a y. So after that, take the log on the left hand side and take the log on the right hand side. Meanwhile, write the equation, write the function in the in the power form. So here the power is half and in the denominator the cubic root that is power is 1 over now apply the property first before taking the derivative apply the logarithmic property so here we can write it as ln of x plus 1 whole to the power of half minus ln of x minus 1 whole to the power of 1 over 3 by using the quotient property so if i have ln of m over n i can write it as ln of m minus ln of n so now use the power property so according to the power property write the power before the ln so i wrote it over here to make my function easier in the easier form in okay now take the derivative ln of y is y prime over y with respect to x half as it is now x plus 1 is your u so the derivative is 1 and u prime over u so u is as it is because ln of u it is u prime over u minus 1 over 3 as it is now the derivative this is your u the derivative of x minus 1 is 1 and then u that is x minus 1 as it is now bring the 1 over here and simplify it bring the y on the other side okay so now simplify 1 time 1 gives me 1 over 2 x plus 1 minus 1 times 1 gives me 1 over 3 x minus 1 now make the denominators alike which means that over here multiply by 3 times x minus 1 down also and up also and on the other side multiply by 2 times x plus 1 in the denominator and also in the numerator. Now in place of y write the original question but in the form of power. So x plus 1 whole to the power of half over x minus 1 whole to the power of 1 over 3. Now write the denominator only one time so 2 of x plus 1 times 3 x minus 1. Now here open the bracket 1 times 3 is 3. So 3 times x 3x minus 3 times 1 is 3. Similarly negative 1 times 2 it gives me negative 2. Now multiply the inner function with negative 2. So negative 2x negative 2 times 1 negative 2. 
Now, 3x minus 2x gives me x. Minus 3 minus 2 gives me minus 5. The denominator write only one time as it is. Okay. Now, in the denom here we have y prime. So, y prime is x plus 1 to the power of half as it is and x minus 1 whole to the power of 1 over 3 in the denominator. And here we have y prime. Now, look at this one. x minus 1 to the power of 1 over 3. Similarly, x uh, here y it has x minus 1. It should be x plus 1, x minus, yes. And here we have x minus 1, 1 over 3, yes, x minus 1 here. So, both of them are multiplying with each other so that, so we can add the power. Using the exponent property, we will add the power. So, 1 over 3 plus 1, it will give me 4 over 3. So, I will write x minus 1 whole to the power of 4 over 3. Now, look at this one, the other one that is x plus 1 and x plus 1 here x plus 1 to the power of half up and x plus 1 in the denominator. Now here the, we will use the quotient property of exponent. That is, we will subtract the powers. The bigger power is 1. So 1 minus half gives me half. So I will write half in the denominator. Now after doing this x minus 5 remain in my numerator. Here 2 times 3, this is 2, this is 3, 2 times 3 gives me 6. So, here I will write 6. So, this is my final derivative. Let us try to solve this question. Before solving, we will apply the, we will take the log on both sides. And uh, meanwhile, we will taking the log on both sides, we will write in the form of power because the square root has the value of 1 over 2 as a power. Now we will use the power property according to which if there is a whole power we will write it before the log. So we will write half and same way uh, at the same time we will apply the product property because the three functions are multiplying. So in the product property, we will write every term with the log and we will put a plus sign. So, we will write ln of x squared plus ln of x plus 2 plus ln of x plus 1. Now, here again x squared. So, we can write the 2 before the ln. And this half is multiplying with all, with all functions. So, since it is constant, so keep it on the one side. So 2 ln x plus ln of x plus 2 plus ln of x plus 1. Now take the derivative on both sides. So derivative of ln y with respect to x is y prime over y equals to half as it is. Now take the derivative. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so we will write 2 as it is, 1 over x, plus derivative of ln of u, it is u prime over u. So, in our case, u is x plus 2, so the derivative is 1 over x plus 2 as it is, plus in the next term, x plus 1 is our u, so the derivative is 1 and x plus 1 as it is. Okay, now simplify them. Bring the y on the other side. So, we will write here y prime equals to y times half. Now, make the denominators alike. How can we make the denominators alike? Multiplying the first term, first function by x plus 2 and x plus 1. The second function with x and x plus 1. And the third function with x and x plus 2. 
Okay, up also and denominators also. I didn't write denominator because it's obvious that it would be has to be written one time. So we will write x, x plus 2 and x plus 1. Now after that open the bracket. Here 2 as it is. Open the bracket x plus 2 times x plus 1. x times x gives me x square. x times 1 gives me x plus 2 times x 2x plus 2 times 1 is 2. Now multiply here also plus x square plus x. Multiply over here also you will get x square plus 2x. Now in place of y we will write our actual question but make sure that you write with a power. So y is so I will write with the blue so that you can, do not confuse with everything. So y is x square x plus 2 and x plus 1 whole to the power of half. So this half is multiplying with the first function, this half is multiplying with the second function and this half is on the third function also. So you can write it half here, half here, half here. Okay, so on the other side, what we will get, open the bracket, right? 2x here, here, here and here. So we will get here, remember 2x plus x gives me 3x. Okay, so 2 times x square, it is 2x square plus 3 times 2 gives me 6x plus 2 times 2 gives me 4 plus x square plus x square gives me 2x square x plus 2x gives me 3x over. Now here I have 3, uh, here I have x then x plus 2 and x plus 1. Now x here 2 and 2 cancel. So I have x on the top and x in the denominator. So this x will be cancelled with this x. Now x plus 2 and x plus 2 half on the top and half 1 in the denominator. So I have the bigger power in the denominator. I can write it as x plus 2. Power 1 minus half gives me half. Similarly, x plus 1, 1 minus half gives me half. Now, 2x square plus 2x square, it will give me 4x square. 6x plus 3x, it will give me 9x plus 4 as it is. And that is our final answer. Okay, so here find the derivative using the logarithmic differentiation. As we remember, the first thing is that we take the log on both sides. So we will write ln of y equals to ln of, now I am opening the bracket. So I am writing here ln and here ln. And I am opening, uh, uh, opening this means expanding all this function using the logarithmic properties of addition and subtraction or product or quotient property. So ln of x plus 1 plus ln of x minus 2. They are multiplying. So I wrote it with the plus sign. Now x minus 1 with the negative sign with the ln. The reason is that they are dividing and minus ln of x plus 2 because it is also dividing. Now take the derivative. So ln of y with respect to x, it will be y prime over y. So the derivative of x plus 1, it is my u. So derivative of x plus 1 is 1 over x plus 1 as it is. Then I have plus again here x minus 2 is my u. So u, u prime will be 1 and u is same. Then here x minus 1 is my derivative. So it will be 1 over x minus 1. Here x plus 2 is my derivative. So it is 1 over x plus 2. Now make the denominators alike and bring the y over here. So when we bring the y over there, we will get x plus 1, x minus 2 over x minus 1 and x plus 2 because y is our original question. 
Now make the denominators alike. So look here. Here in the denominator, we will write all the functions which are written in the denominator because we write the denominator only one time. And now see how can we solve this one. Here x plus 1. Okay, x plus 1 is already written. So I have to multiply it by x minus 2, x minus 1 and x plus 2. Then this plus sign is here. Now x minus 2 is already there, right? So other than x minus 1, what I have? I have here x plus 1, x minus 1 and x plus 2. Now after that minus, now x minus 1 I have, so I will write only x plus 1, x minus 2 and x plus 2. Then I have another minus x plus 2 I have, so I will write x plus 1, x minus 2 and x minus 1. Now to understand, remember here I am just multiplying for you x plus 1 and x minus 1. This is a formula of x square minus 1 square. That means 1. Similarly, because uh, similarly x plus 2 and x minus 2, it is a formula of x square minus 2 square. So in the first one, x square minus 1 and in the second one, x square minus 4. So if you remember this thing, or you can open it in the rough column and then complete this work over here. So, here we have x plus 1, x minus 2 over x minus 1 and x plus 2. Now, on this side, now x plus minus 2 and x plus 2, we know that it is x square minus 4, left with x minus 1 as it is. Then x plus 1 and x minus 1, we know that it is x square minus 1 square, that is 1, and x plus 2 as it is. Then minus x plus 1, and we know x minus 2 plus x plus 2, it will give us x square minus 4. Then minus x plus 1 and x minus 1 give us, gives us x square minus 1 and x minus 2 over as it is x plus 1 x minus 2 x minus 1 and x plus 2 now solve and open the brackets again so this x plus 1 and this x plus 1 cancel and similarly x minus 2 and x minus 2 cancel here the denominator we have x minus 1 times x minus 1 so we can write it as x minus 1 whole square because this and they are multiplying with each other. Similarly, x plus 2 and x plus 2 are multiplying. So, we can write here x plus 2 whole square. Now, open the bracket on the top. So, we will get x cube minus x square minus 4x plus 4 plus now the other one x cube plus 2x minus x minus 2. Now this is the minus sign. So minus I will change later on first inside the brackets. Let's check. So we can write it here x cube x cube minus 4x plus x square minus 4. Now, since minus is outside, so I will change all the signs which are inside. So, this will become minus, this will become plus, this will become minus and this will become plus. Now, this minus is already outside. So, I will write only the inside thing first of all. So, I will get here x cube, x cube minus 2x square minus 2x square minus x minus minus plus 2. Now since here we have the minus so all these all the signs inside will change. So it will become plus 
it will become plus and it will become minus. Now try to solve. If you have the common terms, try to solve it. X cube and X cube cancel. Here this X cube cancel with this X cube. Now minus X is square. Here minus X is square and plus 2X is square also cancel. Now we have plus 2X. Okay, here we have minus 2 and minus 2. It gives me minus 4. Cancel with the plus 4. So I have plus 2x. Okay, plus 2x. Okay, so and here I have uh, plus 3x. Okay, let's see how many minus x here. So minus 4x and plus 4x also cancel. And now I have here plus 4 only. Okay, let's see that what is left. So plus 2x minus x and plus x. So plus x and minus x cancel. So only 2x left. And then over here I have plus 4 left. Over x minus 1. And x plus 2 whole square. Now if I take the 2 common from here. I will get x plus 2. Over x minus 1 and x plus 2 whole square. Now this is square cancel with this one. So my final answer will be 2 over x minus 1 times x plus 2. So in this question, the first thing using the logarithmic differentiation, we will take the log on both sides and log on the right side, log on the left side. Now write L and Y, open the brackets, the equations which are written on the top has to be solved by using the property, product property and those which are dividing use the quotient property. So we are opening also. So ln of x is square plus ln of 3x minus 2 whole to the power of half because they are written in the square root form minus ln of x plus 1 whole square. Now bring the power before the ln using the power property. So we will write 2 ln x plus half ln of 3x minus 2 minus 2 ln of x plus 1. Now take the derivative with respect to x. So derivative of y ln y will be y prime over y equals to 2. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x plus 1 over 2 ln of u. So 3x minus 2 is your u. So the u prime is 3 over u that is 3x minus 2 minus then we have the 2. Now here we have u prime over u that is u is x plus 1. So derivative is 1 over x plus 1 as it is. <clears throat> now bring the y on the other side and meanwhile you just solve them. Okay, so 2 times 1 will be 2 over x plus 2 times 3 will be, uh, it will be, sorry, 3 over 2. <clears throat> so, we will we'll have 3 over 2, 3x minus 2, then minus 2 times 1 is 2 over x plus 1. Now, make the denominators alike and in place of y, just write down the question. So we will have x square 3x minus 2 whole to the power of half over x plus 1 whole square. Write the denominators one time. So we will write here x to 3x minus 2 and x plus 1. So after writing the denominator, see how we will multiply. So other than x, we will multiply with everything. That means we will, this 2 is here. Now we will multiply with this one and this one. So we will write here 2, 3x minus 2 and x plus 1. 
Now on the second equation, rather only 2, 3x minus 1, 2 we will not write. We will multiply the 3 with the x and x plus 1. So x and x plus 1. Minus 2. Now here we already have x plus 1. So we don't have the x. We don't have the 2 and 3x minus 2. Now open the brackets. 2 times 2 gives me 4. And 4 and now open the bracket over here. So 3x times x gives me 3x square. 3x times 1 gives me 3x minus 2 times x gives me 2x and minus 2 times 1 gives me minus 2. Plus 3x, right? 3x multiplied by the x, it will gives us 3x square. 3x multiplied by 1 gives us 3x only. Now 2 times 2 is 4 and so here x, so it will be 4x. So 4x multiplied by the both sides. So it will gives me 4 times 3, 12x square. 4x times 2, it will give us minus 8x. Over. Now, this 3x minus 2, this x square and up is x square and down is x. So, this x cancel with this square. So, left with the x on the top. Here, x plus 1 and down also x plus 1. They are multiplying. So, we add the power. So, we will get x plus 1 whole power 3. Now 3x minus 2 and on the top 3x minus 2 to the power half. So we subtract the power 1 minus half gives us 3x minus 2 whole to the power of half. And this 2 we will write it here. Now 2 times 1 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. Now after that, oh, okay sorry here we cannot, uh, cannot do it because this 2 is only for that bracket. So, please, you also don't do the mistake which I was about to do. Now, multiply with the 4 everything, right? Now, 3x minus 2x, actually, it will give us x only. So, <clears throat> while multiplying, be careful. So, 3, 4 times 3, it will give us 12x square. 3x minus 2x is x. x times 4 gives us 4x minus 8. Then the rest as it is. 3x square plus 3x plus 12x square. <clears throat> okay. Now see here. Minus 2 times 2 it is 4x. It has to be minus 4x because of this minus. So it should be minus 12x square and it has to be plus 8x. So <clears throat> it has to be minus 12x square plus 8x. Okay, now divided by as it is whatever written. So 2, 3x minus 2 and then power of half and then x plus 1 whole to the power of 3. Now 12x square and 12x square cancel. 4 plus 3, 7x and plus 8x. It gives us, look at this here, 3x square left. So I will write here 3x square. Okay, now here we have 8x, okay, 4x and 3x. So, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, we will have 15x. Then we have negative 8 and divided by the whole thing which is written over here. 2, 3x minus 2 whole to the power of half. And x plus 1 whole to the power of 3. So just try to um, try to take the, uh, the factors of 3x square plus 15x minus 8. I am leaving it over here. But it might give you some factors which can be multi, which can be divided or which can be divided by the factors which are written in the denominator. So hopefully. But I am leaving my question over here. So if you just try to find out the factors if you can. So let's see how can we manage this question. Same thing that uh, take the log on both sides. 
so write the log on this side write the log on that side but when you write the log make sure that the square root has to be changed as a power of half so we can write it as ln y equals to ln of uh, and then write here x square minus 1 divided by x square plus 1 whole to the power of half use the power property bring the half before the ln and uh, and now use the quotient property. So in the quotient property, the ln of the first function, which is written in the numerator, minus ln of second function, which is written in the denominator. So ln of x square minus 1 minus ln of x square plus 1. So after writing this, because half is the constant, so keep the half outside as it is. Now, Take the derivative on the left and the right side. So, derivative of ln y is y prime over y. Write the half as it is. Now, take the derivative of the function. Now, we know that the derivative of ln u is u prime over u. So, in this situation, this is your u. So, we can write it as 2x because the derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x and then x square minus 1 as it is minus now again the u is x square plus 1 so the derivative of x square plus 1 will be 2x over x square plus 1 write it as it is now simplify the inner function and bring the y on the other side so we will write here y prime equals to y times half and now make the denominators alike. So how can we write the denominators? Means multiply this over here that is x square plus 1 and multiply this over here that is x square minus 1 and write the denominator only one time. Okay, after doing this opening open the brackets. Okay, so 2x times x square gives us 2x cube. 2x times 1 gives us 2x. Now, this is minus 2x. Make sure. So, multiply. So, minus 2x cube minus minus plus 2x times 1 gives us 2x. So, 2x cube and 2x cubes cancels because they have the opposite signs. Now, in place of y, write down the question. That is x square minus 1 over x square plus 1. Now, it has a power half. So, we can write the power half on the top and we can write the power half in the denominator because if a over b whole to the power of n is written, they can write can be written as a power n over b to the power of n. Exponents property. Now, here 2x plus 2x gives us 4x over. Now, x square minus 1 and x square plus 1. Now here we will use the again the properties prop, uh, the properties of exponent. So if the bases are alike, we add the power if they are multiplying with each other. So x square plus 1 to the power of half and x square plus 1 to the power of 1. If we add the power 1 plus half, we will get as 3 over 2. Now, in the second case, x square minus 1 to the power of half and x square minus 1 to the power of 1, they are dividing. So, we will divide, we will subtract the power. So, 1 minus half give us half. And on the top, now we have been left with 4x. So, that is, that can be our final answer. I hope that you liked uh, the explanation and you understood the concept. Always remember in mathematics it is very necessary that you practice a lot because practice only can lead you to the success. And uh, if you have any comment, please uh, do let me know right in the comment box. And don't forget to like my videos, give a thumbs up and subscribe the channel if you want more videos. Thank you very much.